Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class is a 60 minute challenging morning vinyasa flow class designed to work all the compartments of your body including your shoulders, your hips, your legs, your spine and your abdominal core. I do hope you enjoy, thanks for joining, namaste. And begin your practice in a comfortable kneeling position at the back of your mat. And of course you can sit cross-legged if your knees don't like deep flexion. Place a blanket underneath your sit bones. And just allow your spine to elevate so the crown of your head is balanced over your pelvis. And gently shut down the eyes, take a few moments to land, make a bit of space between whatever you were doing prior to practice and this moment right now. We'll take a few cleansing breaths. And just feel yourself settling in. Feel your shoulders dropping away from your ears. And invite your breath to start to expand. Breathing deep, full breaths. And very simply to start to notice the ripple of energy through your body with each breath. As you breathe deeper, your breath starts to animate and enliven your body, gently wake you up. You can feel your breath moving into balance, equal part inhale, equal part exhale. And just take five more deep breaths. And one more cycle of breath here. As you breathe out, just draw your chin in toward your chest. Let your eyeballs fall to the back of your eyelids. And gently blink the eyes open. So keeping your hands on your thighs there, we're just going to move through some gentle spinal undulations as if you were moving through cat and cow. So we're just gently arching the spine, lifting the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together. And as you breathe out, dome your spine, nod your chin in, hug your belly. And just stay with that movement, allowing your movement to follow the shape of your breath, opening and expanding on your in-breath. Contracting and bowing in on your out breath. Just moving at a slow enough pace so your breath has time to fill up completely and empty fully. And two more rounds each way here. Just breathing a little space into the joints of your spine. And then we return to neutral spine. And just taking your fingertips down by your side, we'll move through a simple shoulder stretch as you breathe in, reach the arms up overhead, touch your palms. Breathing out, hands through the heart center, interlace your fingers. As you breathe out, push the palms away, round the spine. 
and as you breathe in, send your arms up overhead. As you exhale, cactus your arms so the elbows bend, squeeze the shoulder blades in behind you. And as you breathe out, eagle arms, right arm on top, left arm under. As you breathe in, raise the elbows, the fingers, arc the spine. Breathing out, round the spine, bow in. Back to neutral as you breathe in. Cactus the arms as you breathe out. Arms up overhead, breathe in. Press your palms. Exhale, hands through the heart center, interweave the fingers. As you breathe out, push the palms away around the spine. And as you feel yourself breathe in, raise the arms. As you breathe out, cactus the arms. Taking your left arm on top now, right arm under, eagle arms. Raise the fingers, the forearms. And as you breathe out, bow in. Back to neutral, breathe in. Elbows out wide, cactus, breathe out. And this time we're just going to drop the left hand down to your left side, reach the right arm up and over for a lateral stretch. Ease off as you breathe in. Tip a little deeper as you breathe out. Raise both arms up toward the ceiling, breathe in. And over to the other side, right hand down, left arm overhead. Moving with your breath, unhurried, breathe in, ease off. Tip a little deeper as you breathe out. Back to neutral, breathe in. And hands to the floor in front of you as you breathe out. And just gently raise the buttocks, tuck your toes and come to sit back on your heels. And this gently stretches the arches of your feet. If you need a little bit more support, you can keep your hands on the floor there. Or untuck the toes, come onto the tops of the feet. And taking the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, draw your shoulder blades together and really lift the chest, widen the collarbones, perhaps send the gaze lightly up. And as you breathe out, you're going to take the fists around to your right side waist, squeeze your elbows toward one another and lightly dropping the right ear over to your right shoulder, lengthen through the left side of your neck. And you can play with dropping the chin in toward your chest. Just letting that stretch travel around to the back of the neck, side of the neck. And bring your head upright and your fists back to centre behind you and take it over to the other side. Fists around to your left side waist. Elbows squeeze in behind you, left ear, left shoulder. And like a pendulum, just drop the chin down in toward the chest and roll the left ear so it balances over your left shoulder and then bringing the head upright walking the hands forward lean into your hands untuck the toes and just tap them out there give them a little stretch through the top of the feet you might feel some warmth there and then from here, keeping your knees underneath your hips, walk your hands forward and come into Anahatanasana, heart opening posture. As you take your hands forward, take your hands a little wider than your shoulders, spread all your fingers and allow your forehead to drop toward the mat or rest on the mat there. Try and stay stable across your shoulder girdle by drawing the shoulder blades wide apart in your upper back and then feel an upward energy from your armpits to the sides of your hips pointing the sit bones toward the ceiling and spreading the sit bones downward energy through into the shins and the tops of the feet and just take one more deep breath in and out here as you breathe in, gaze forward and slowly lower onto your belly. So from here, we're going to take our arms alongside our body, palms face down, 
Separate the feet so your heels are about hip distance apart behind you. Forehead can just lightly rest on the mat as you set yourself up. Activating your abdominal core between the hip points. Engaging your leg muscles. And then take the hands behind your back and interlace your fingers if that's accessible for you. Otherwise you can just keep the hands by your side. And here we'll keep the legs down for our first locust pose. We're just going to work on raising the chest, bringing the ribs forward, squeezing the shoulder blades in behind you and lightly sending the gaze forward. Stay active in the legs and the core. Take a deep breath in, reach the fists back, lift the chest. And as you exhale, make a little pillow with the hands, bringing them forward, stack your hands and either rest your forehead or a cheek onto your hands, bend the knees and then just sway windshield wiper style, legs left and right with your knees bent and release through the low back. And then second round, place your feet down feet hip distance apart and this round we will raise our chest legs and our our hands <laughs> so we're just taking our hands down by our side as you breathe in lift up so reach your fingertips back your hands are free reach the toes back and bring your chest forward and try and keep a uniform arch through your spine so you may only lift up just a little way keep extending through the low back middle of the back back of the neck deep breath in and exhale bring your hands forward make a pillow with your hands rest your head or a cheek bend the knees and just crisscross legs left and right And last one here, bring your arms forward into Superman arms, palms face down, legs hip width apart. And as you breathe in, you're going to raise the arms, raise the legs and stretch from your fingertips all the way back to the tips of your toes, abdominals engaged, chest lifting a little higher, breathe a nice bright breath and exhale really springing your hands by your ribs and making your way back into a child's pose balasana take your knees a little wider than your hips big toes to touch buttocks to the heels and keep your arms reaching forward there your arms active with the forearms lifting you might feel a little bit of warmth there in the low back spine and if you can imagine your breath traveling down to the low back expanding so you feel your skin stretch across your low back as you breathe in your belly soften against your thighs as you breathe out and take two more resting breaths as you breathe in glide up onto all fours there make sure your fingers are spread tuck your toes and lift up and back into downward facing dog to start place a bend in your knees and see if you can gently drag your chest toward your thighs there or your bent knees and stabilize stabilize across your shoulders so you're just gently widening through your upper back so it feels like your armpits are turning toward the floor bring weight down into all the knuckles of your fingers the edges of your fingers and then slowly pedal out through your heels you might like to sway your hips And take two more smooth breaths in and out. As you breathe out, feel your belly engage, bend the knees, gaze forward, and lightly walk yourself forward to the top edge of the mound. 
Keeping your feet hip distance apart, take a halfway lift when you arrive. Hands can come to the shins, straight legs, expend, extend your spine. And as you exhale, forward fold. Pushing down through your active feet, come all the way up, reach your arms out and up, stretch tall. And as you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart center. Keeping your feet hip distance apart, two half forward folds to start us off. Nice deep breath in, eyes up, arms up. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Light bend in the knees if you need to there. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, your halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Find that rhythm to your breath. The arms rise as you breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Second round, arms reach overhead. Top of the inhale, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in, forward fold as you breathe out, rise to stand, breathe in, hands to your heart as you breathe out, three rounds, Surya Namaskar A, bringing your big toes to touch, heels lightly apart, reach the arms overhead, breathe in, Urdhva Hastasana, Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, gaze is forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Take a deep breath in here, engage your thighs, your abs. And as you exhale, shift forward and lower slow, Chaturanga. All the way to the belly. Inhale, low cobra, bring the ribs forward, widen the collarbones. And as you exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Smooth breath out. Two more smooth cycles of breath. Let your eyes fall steady. End of your exhale, light bend in the knees, gaze forward. Step or lightly hop forward, bring the toes together at the top of your man. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Arms rise, come to stand, breathe in. Dive forward over your legs as you breathe out. Second round, Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Hands down, plank pose, breathe out. Lower to Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog or cobra as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Three deep breaths. Last round coming up. Deep breath in, gaze forward. End of your exhale. Step or lightly hop forward. Toes come together, Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Rise to stand on your in-breath. Forward fold on your out-breath. Halfway lift, bring your heart forward. Exhale, plank pose. And lower to Chaturanga. And of course you can always modify with the knees to the floor or skip the vinyasas. And we'll all meet back in Downward Facing Dog. Breathing smooth and unhurried full breath. And keep this same cadence to your breath, stepping your toes together at the back of the mat. Reach your right leg up and back as you breathe in. Lightly step forward to a high lunge as you breathe out. Rise on your in-breath. You can sweep your arms or take your hands to your hips. And as you exhale, fingertips to frame your front foot. Step forward lightly, bring the toes together. Take a halfway lift. 
And as you exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight in your heels, reach your arms. And as you exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Step your right foot back, high lunge as you breathe out. Rise on your in-breath, reach the arms, elbows straight, gaze can go up. Exhale, hands to the floor and step back through Avinyasa. High to low push-up, upward dog or cobra and downward facing dog. Toes together at the back of your mat, left leg rising as you breathe in, no rush. Left foot forward in between your hands. High lunge as you breathe in. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, fingertips down to frame your front foot. Step lightly forward, bring your toes to touch. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Bend your knees, chair pose, breathe in. Forward fold, empty your lungs, drop your head. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Lunge your left foot back, high lunge. Raise the arms on your in-breath. Hands to the floor and a vinyasa or rest. High to low push-up. Upward dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. Pause and rest. Five to eight deep breaths here. Feel free to take the knees to the floor, your buttocks to your heels, any time during the class, whenever you need to do less. And let your breath guide you. It's bringing a consistency of mindfulness to your practice, feeling of spaciousness and ease. Two more smooth cycles of breath. And very slowly ripple forward to a high push up, bringing your shoulders to stack over your wrists. Activate your abdominal core, lifting in and up through the front of the pelvis. Raise the right foot off the floor and shift forward as you point your right toes, shift back and flex your right toes. Twice more, point, shift forward, flex, shift back. Point and flex. Keep the right leg raised and lift up into down dog splits. And as you breathe out, step your right foot forward and come into runner's lunge. You can keep your fingertips on the floor here as you set yourself up, feet a hip distance apart, balancing on the balls of your back toes, pressure in your right inner heel, right big toe mound. And keep your left hand down or fingertips down and slowly open up for a twist, right hand to the ceiling. We're here for a few breaths. When you arrive, Give everything a little length and space. So just notice where you may feel cramped in your body or congested. Check in with your shoulders, the neck. Keep supporting yourself with a stable back lifted leg. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, circle your right arm back and down. Place your right hand to the outside of your right foot, coming into side angle from here. Anchor your left heel down. And if you can, keep your right hand where it is. Point your right knee forward. Raise the left arm to the ceiling, opening up to the other side. If this feels too strong or your hips uh, quite tight here, feel free to place your right forearm on your right knee, just elevating yourself to give yourself a little bit more room. And breathe deep. If you can, lunge a little deeper into the front leg, keep your back leg 
straight and strong. And circling your left arm back now, we come to a half bind. Left hand can place to the back of uh, the small of your back, or you can creep your left hand round to your inner right thigh. And we're just gently encouraging our left shoulder to open here, our chest to rotate to the left. Take a deep breath in and out. And you're going to keep the left hand where it is in a bind or behind your back. Push down through your front foot. Come all the way up. We're going to reverse our warrior. Keep a deep lunge in the front knee. Reach the right arm back. Open through the chest. Spiral your chest toward the ceiling. And take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, release the hands. Wimmel your hands to the floor to frame your front foot. Pop up onto the back toes. Lower your back knee low lunge when you steady reach your arms toward the sky frame your ears and settle for a couple of breaths here stay active and lifting through the sides of your waist stay grounded through your front foot and the back shin and foot take a deep breath in Exhale, position your hands underneath your shoulders, lean your hips back, straighten out through your right leg, Ardha Hanuman. And try to avoid locking your right knee out, keep the quads engaged. Balls of the toes pressing forward while your toes curl back toward your face. Chest bright and open, relax the shoulders. As you feel yourself breathe out, rock forward, plant the hands, either a vinyasa or take rest. You can step back to a high to high pusher, lower to a low pusher, upper dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. And second side, ripple forward, high push up. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, spread your fingers, raise the left leg. And point your toes, shift forward lightly. Flex your toes, shift lightly back. Point and flex. Point and flex. Raise the left leg up and back, down dog splits. Breathe in deeply, anchor your hands. And as you exhale, lightly step forward, runner's lunge, left foot in between your hands. Take a few moments with your fingertips on the floor to find a steady shape. And then keeping your right hand down on the floor, slowly take the left hand toward the ceiling and find your twist. Try not to rotate through your pelvis too much, just keeping your hips level your abdominals engaged, back thigh lifting up. Breathe deeply and reach up a little higher to the edge of your left fingers and then circle your left hand back and down to place your left hand on the outside of your left foot. Revolving to your right now, right arm reaches up as you anchor your back heel and you find your way into Pashva Konasan side angle pose. If you need to modify, take the left forearm to your left knee. Just ensure your left knee is now tracking forward in line with your middle toes. Actively hug your left hip in. And feel strong and straight through your right leg. And circle your right arm down and back behind you, taking the right hand to the small of your back or threading through to the inside of your left hip. We're just encouraging our right shoulder to open, the collarbones to widen, any position with the right hand that works for your body. Stay powered up in the legs, press down through your front foot, 
Reach up and back, reverse warrior, left arm up and overhead. See if you can lunge a little deeper. And then as you breathe out, windmill both hands to the floor, frame your front foot, low lunge coming up. Back knee can settle to the floor there. When you steady, reach your arms up alongside your ears and pause for a couple of breaths. And of course, your hands could come down onto your front thigh or to your hips there. Wherever you feel most stable and your breath can slow and you can find your meditative rhythm again. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, rock back and start to straighten out any amount through your left leg. And try and keep that long unwrinkled feeling through the front of your spine. Shoulder blades lightly squeeze in behind you. Chest stays open, your chin can lightly draw in. Breathe smooth. And then from here, you're going to walk your left foot over into the left lane even more. Point the left toes out. We're setting up for yogi squat, malasana. Hands on the inside of your front foot. And gracefully step your right foot forward. And either sit halfway down or come all the way down onto the back of your calves. Position your elbows through to your inner knees. Press your palms, thumbs toward your breastbone. And think about extending through the sides of your waist and through the entire length of your spine. So your tailbone sits down, but the back of your skull is lifting up and you find length through the back of your neck, middle of the back and your lower back. Light inner thigh stretch as well. Take another cycle of breath. And taking the hands to the floor to heel your feet to hip distance apart now. Hook your peace fingers and thumbs around your big toes. Take a breath in as you lengthen up halfway. Look forward, straight legs. And as you exhale, bow in toward your legs, bend your knees as much as you need to, to avoid pulling on your low back. Really allow your head to drop, your shoulders to relax. Shift your elbows out wide to the side. Allow your facial expression to soften. Take rest. And taking one more smooth cycle of breath here. Keeping the bind, take a halfway lift, breathe in, send your heart forward through your arms. And as you exhale, release your bind, forward fold. Bend your knees, come into chair pose here, reach the arms alongside your ears and we'll just flow. Sweep the arms back, bring your torso forward as you breathe out. Twice more, just like that. Breathe in, sink the hips nice and low, reach the arms. Exhale, arms float back, torso forward. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, arms back, pause here. So torso is kind of parallel with the floor there, weights in your heels. And there's two variations here. This one we do for our glutes. So fingertips can come to the floor at any time you need extra support. If you can, challenge your balance. Balance on your right foot here. Get a little lighter on those left toes. And tap your left foot back as if you're coming into a lunge. Just tap the toe and then tap forward. So your right knee stays bent. Left leg's moving. Hands free or with the support of your fingers. Just a couple more here. So working our glute muscles in our buttocks, our outer hips. 
and then next time you draw the left knee in let it completely hover so the left knee touches the right knee and you come to flamingo left heel up toward the buttocks see if you can drop down a little bit deeper and either hands free or fingertips to the floor we just take a little micro pulses here so you're dropping down a little lower lifting up squeezing the knees together hug your right hip in do your best to balance and keep breathing there's a nice stretch coming up like an intermission <laughs> stay with it and then step your left foot down to meet your right take a halfway lift breathe in straight legs forward fold breathe out rise to stand breathe in hands to hips breathe out and then bend your knees here raise the right foot and take your right ankle to your left knee so a standing hip groin stretch here do flex the toes on your right foot sit back into the heel of your left foot and then taking your hands to your heart center so depending on your hip flexibility you can lean forward or stay a little upright try and get that feeling to shift into the outer right hip here by flexing your toes and sinking a little deeper we'll keep it moving stay balanced on that left foot rise to stand with your right knee pointing forward your right foot lifted and as you breathe out as gracefully as you can step back warrior two give yourself a few moments to land and when you're ready reach your arms out at shoulder height so just take a little gaze down check in with your left knee make sure your left knee is pointing forward left toes at 12 o'clock and your spine feels straight up and down your abdominals feel engaged and both arms are equally active all the way out to the edge of your fingers pause another intermission coming up see if you can sink down just a little lower keep your right pinky toe side of the heel grounded and as you breathe in push down through both feet reach the arms up take your hands to your hips and turn to face the long edge of your mat turn your heels out angle your toes in take a deep breath in and as you breathe out forward fold between your wide legs and you can come down any amount there and you can bend your knees as much as you like to make that feel accessible we're just folding forward lengthening through the back body and particularly the legs let the crown of your head point down toward the floor fingertips can rest on the floor on your legs let it feel restful and as you feel yourself breathe in onto the fingertips come up halfway extend through your spine and as you breathe out walk around to your front foot so your hands frame your left foot and step back to plank pose and pause here feet quite wide fingers spread and you can keep both hands on the floor here for side plank as a variation turn your heels off to the left side balance on your left hand raise the right hand toward the ceiling so that's optional most importantly try and get your body in one straight line so your tailbones lengthening toward your heels the left side of your waist is lifting up your oblique muscles are engaged and you feel open and bright across your chest reach your top arm overhead and then send your gaze down eyes down hands down take a vinyasa or take rest moving slow rhythmic with your breath 
and we'll all meet up in downward facing dog. And two more smooth breaths in and out. Take a deep breath in, gaze forward. And at the end of your exhale, step or lightly float forward to the top edge of the mat. Bring your toes together, a halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Chair flow now, Utkatasana, bend the knees, reach the arms. Sigh it out of the mouth, draw the arms back, your torso forward. And we've got two more just like that. Breathe in, full breath. Breathe out, let it go. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, float the arms back, torso forward and pause. So either hands free or fingertips to the floor for our glute work. Balancing now on your left foot, transfer your weight there and get a little lighter on the right toes. Hug the outer left hip in to find balance. Tap the right toes back any amount and then step forward, tap back, step forward. Keep the left knee bent, your chest open and do the best that you can. Maybe you do half the amount, full amount. You straighten your leg to take a little brief rest. Whatever works for you. We are nearly there. Next time you bring your right knee in, squeeze the knees together, hug your right heel up toward your right buttocks. You're in flamingo now. And then really gently lift and lower. Try not to let your abdominals go soggy here. They help to support you around your center of gravity. I'm just trying to distract you. We've just got a couple more <laughs> and then a big rest. And then step forward, right foot to the floor. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand, breathe in, take a full breath to arrive and take your hands to your hips. So from here you're balancing on your right foot and we come into the standing, <clears throat> pardon me, standing hip groin stretch, left ankle to the top of your right knee. So bend your right knee enough so you make a ledge, rotate your left hip out externally and then hands can be wherever you like there. Hands to the heart maybe just gives you that feeling of drawing in toward your center. And then allow your buttocks to sink back and down. So you exaggerate that stretch into the outer left hip. Try not to hold your breath here. And then remain balancing and bring the knee forward to balance, step back lightly to warrior two. Take a really long stride between your feet, take your time to arrive. We're here for about five breaths when we find our position. So really spread through the soles of your feet. Spread across your chest through the reach of your arms. Lengthen the inner thighs toward your knees. And just land, breathe, stay focused. As you breathe in, send the arms up, straighten both legs. Spread leg forward, fold coming up, turn toward the long edge of your mat, heels out, toes in. You could take your hands behind you and interlace your fingers for this second version or just hands to the hips. Take a deep breath in, emphasize that opening through your chest as you look up and slow fold between the legs as you breathe out. And if you have your hands interweave there, Try not to overdo it through the shoulders. Just a comfortable lift to the fists, drawing them up toward the ceiling and at the same time lifting your shoulder heads up 
away from the man, allowing your head to drop toward the man. And two more smooth breaths in and out. Get comfortable, feel at ease. And then releasing your fingertips to the floor, take a halfway lift, breathe in. Walk around to your right foot facing the front edge of your mat, plant the hands and step back to plank pose to pause. So this time right side, side plank. You can keep both hands on the floor. Make sure your feet are wide before you swizzle the heels to your right now. Option to take your left arm up toward the ceiling. And whether you have your hands on the floor or one hand up, do squeeze the right side waist up and away from the mat. Really activate your oblique muscles. And then just extend the left arm overhead, reach out, stretch out laterally, left side of the waist. And then eyes down, hands down, either rest or a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Reset, breathe, you're almost there. And from here, knees to the floor, buttocks to the heels. Walk your hands back toward your heels, turn your palms face up. Let go of all the effort in your shoulders. Allow your torso to melt toward your thighs. And then gliding up onto all fours, reach your hands forward. Set your hands up underneath your shoulders so you're stacking your bones there for support. And place your left knee to the midline of your mat. Extend your right leg out straight and press the balls of your feet onto the mat. As much as you can, level out through the hips. Firm the belly, front of the pelvis zips up. And then you raise your right leg could be just a little bit beyond uh, perpendicular to the floor there. So you just get that light squeeze in the right buttocks and the hamstring. And then you're just going to lower the right foot down. Once you're steady, left knee lifts up toward your belly there. And then place the left knee down, alternate right leg rises right foot down, left knee squeezes in and up, push down through your hands there, round the spine, left knee down, right leg up, right foot down, left knee up, squeeze in, dome the spine, last one, left knee down, right leg up, right foot down, left knee up, switching sides, left knee down, right knee down, keep the right knee down, midline of the mat, extend the left leg out behind you, and then raise the left leg and squeeze the left buttocks. Try and keep the hips level. Left toes and knees point toward the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left foot down. Squeeze the right knee up toward your chest now around your spine. Slowly right knee down, left leg lifts. And alternate left foot down, right knee lifts. In time with your breath. Breathing in deeply, squeezing all the air out as you breathe out. So your deep transverse abdominus muscles are working here in between the hips. The deep supportive core muscles. We'll just take one more. And rest. From here, both knees down, cross your feet behind you. And make your way all the way down onto your back. Hug the knees in when you arrive. Take a little rock side to side. And let your energy land. I've got one more abdominal sequence. Don't be put off. It's a really good one. <laughs> 
So from here, both feet to the floor, you're going to wrap your right leg over the top of your left leg. And just as we did uh, earlier with our arms, we're going to come into eagle legs. So right foot can wrap around the calf of the left leg. If that's not possible, just squeeze the knees together, hug to the midline and raise your legs. And then we take eagle arms. So we take our opposite arm on top, left arm on top, right arm under. And again, if that's not possible, you can just take your hands interlaced behind the back of your head. So just make it work for your body. And with your head resting down, stretch your legs away there. Keep squeezing the inner thighs together. And as you breathe out, lift up and squeeze in as if you're in a standing eagle. And as you breathe in, reach the legs away rather than down away from you. And then exhale, squeeze in. And then we just pick up the pace here. We've got three more. Really reach your legs away as you lean back. And coming back to a little ball, unravel and just take your hands to the back of your head to support your head now. Legs straight up toward the ceiling. And from here, release your right hand, cross it over diagonally to the outside of the left foot. Really reach up and lift and lift the right shoulder blade and then return your right hand and switch sides. Left hand reaches outside of the right foot, really lift and twist and then back. And so alternate now here. So as you lift and twist, really see if you can squeeze the side abdominal muscles. We've got one more each side. Stay with me, hands to the back of your head, keep your head lifting resting on the low part of your shoulder blades, separate the legs and then cross your right leg in front of the left leg and then continue to crisscross the legs as you lower the legs down. So if you're still working on your core strength, don't lower as far and then come on back up. Keep the legs really engaged. You can point out through your toes as you cycle up and down. Try and keep the arc in your low back to a minimum. So you're strongly drawing your abdominal muscles in. Nearly there. Come on back up. And then from here, just rest your head back. Take your feet to the floor. Second side, left leg wraps over the right leg. Hook the legs or just squeeze the inner thighs together. Raise the legs. Take eagle arms, right arm on top, left arm under. As you breathe in, lean back, stretch your legs away. And as you breathe out, squeeze in. Breathe in, reach away. Exhale, squeeze in, hug everything into the midline. You are nearly there, keep going. Exhale, inhale. Last two. And take your hands to the back of your head. Keep your head lifting, legs straight up toward the ceiling now. Kick up through your heels and release your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Really reach and twist back to center, switch sides. Last few here. And hands back to the back of your head. Keep lifting the chest and separate the feet going to cross the left foot in front of the right foot, point the toes and start to crisscross and lower and bring your legs back up. So you may only lower to about a 45 degree angle. If you're really quite strong in the core, you can come all the way down. Let it be your own practice, the one that suits your strength and capability. And you may just be watching the video at this point rather than actually doing it. I'm not sure how I'm going to go with all of this last one <laughs> and release. Take your feet to the floor, land your head back, arms alongside your body and take a big sigh out. Last few postures here to balance out. So we set up for a bridge pose here, nice one for lengthening the abdominals that we've just worked. Walk your heels in toward your buttocks. 
Feel firm and grounded through all four corners of your feet. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, start to raise the hips, keeping your thighs parallel. And once you reach your edge, just pause for a little bit more stability. You can take your fingers around the edges of your mat with your arms straight. And that might give you a little bit of leverage to draw the shoulder blades in toward each other and open through the front of your chest. Alternatively, you can interlace your fingers underneath your buttocks to find that elevation. And keeping your gaze steady down over the chest. Breathe deeply in and out. And one more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. And take your arms out wide to the side. Walk your feet away from one another and we'll just take windshield wipers on our back. Just relaxing the knees over to your left. And find a comfortable position for your head. You might like to just keep it neutral. You could even turn your gaze to the left or complete the twist. Roll on the back of your head, turn the gaze to the right. And just concentrate now on deep, slow out breaths. So you're consciously directing yourself toward rest and effortlessness. And just bringing the knees up and over to the other side. Find that perfect position for your head in your twist. And then just slowly make your way back to center. Hug the knees in toward your chest. And take a little rock side to side. And taking one last posture before you rest. Happy baby here. And if that's not comfortable for you, you can always come into a reclined bound angle pose, knees out wide to the side, soles of the feet together. Happy baby, you take your hands to the outside of your feet, draw your knees back toward your armpits. And wherever you're at, try not to overdo it, just feel very comfortable. I'd like to press the low back toward the mat. And from here, gently release. Feet to the floor. If you've got any further moves that you'd like to do before you rest in Shavasana or seated meditation, just moving into them now we are now almost on the 60 minute mark do take the next five minutes to either rest back or sit upright quietly making yourself comfortable ensuring you feel warm and allow your energy to settle so you integrate all the benefits of your practice be still and 
and relax. And I do hope you feel nice and open, bright and ready to step into your day after practice. Thanks so much for joining. Namaste.